in three, two, one, go! Here we go. This semifinal match starts slowly, but very surely. These teams want to make sure that they gain as many points as possible as early on as possible. Seems like both sides will do just that. Both alliances scoring some of the hatch panels during the sandstorm period. Blue Alliance also has some cargo scored. That'll give them an early advantage, 27 to 22. I O the robot for 41.59. Doing a little tango with 115. However, that Red Alliance robot breaks free. Just getting by on their side, 115 is still taking care of business. Filling up the Red Alliance cargo ship. And catapulting them into the lead, 40 to 38. Two-point lead for the Red Alliance with less than a minute and a half to go already in this very action-packed semifinal match. These teams are not new to this rodeo. Both of them are nearly filling up the cargo ship. Just about halfway through the match. There's going to be a very close tie, or very close match, excuse me, neck and neck. 47 to 43, Blue Alliance now in the lead again. Red Alliance robots now starting to work on their rocket ships. As is Blue Alliance, Team 649, their robot Sea Devil, trying to place cargo and hatch panels on the far side of the field. The Misfits, their robot, playing some defense against 5499. Rocket ships on both sides of the field have now become the target as these teams prepare for the launch in T-minus 26 seconds. 55 to 51, four-point lead for the Blue Alliance. Cargo scored by 649, M-Set Fish, as they then make their way navigating towards the top of the platform for the Blue Alliance. Two Blue Alliance robots potentially on the platform two, one on platform three, Red Alliance looking to do the same. Team 604 and 115 raising high above the HAB. As time expires for semifinal two, match number one. Be a score of 82 to 78. Very good gameplay, both sides. Blue Alliance ultimately getting that four point difference to win the